Okay, welcome. This is, this is exactly the number of uh, attendees in the audience from my first talk I had about DeviantMail. So it's, I'm used to this because uh, the, the number of people who are interested in medicine and free software is very small. It's very small intersection. So it's, I'm, I'm used to this, but so I will introduce you to maybe some other people on the screen. Um, what is uh, the idea behind DeviantMail? It's it, Debian Meet was uh, triggered in uh, Bordeaux, it's DebConf 1 uh, in France, and I have seen that the French guy was starting to translate um, the installation instructions of some medical program. And I think in, in, in translating installation instructions is stupid because you just install a package and are done. And so I decided to have a talk what would be my idea how medical software should be installed. This was basically the idea of Debian Med, and it was um, over some wine I prepared this talk and finally I did the first announcement in 2002, so we have now 16 years of Debian Med. Um, we are doing yearly sprints and you know Gunnar Wolf, he is running around here and when he's seen that we are doing a sprint in Brittany and then walk in the winter into the water, he thought, well, I thought you are packaging medical, medical software but actually you need medical attention if you are doing this crazy stuff. So, um, yes, it's, it's in some way a little bit crazy to to work in a field where people are used to pay something and uh, evaluate things that are paid very higher and you do it for free. So this is the reason why we are also so such a few people here. But um, the main thing in Debian made is anyway about uh, biology, uh, microbiology and um, life sciences because there is some educational background, some university background where free software is way more established in, than in medical care. Who is the Debian Med team? Um, I did these graphs over several years and um, it was started in 2009 or so. I started these graphs because I wanted to find an answer who is in the team. Uh, because it's not really clear. We have a lot of people in the SISA, uh, SISA uh, maybe 40 or 50 people, but they are not active. Oh, and so I decided to make a graph of the 10 active uploaders. Um, the interesting thing is not that, uh, my, um, that I'm the most active uploader. The, the interesting thing is that we have not only one uploader, we have other teams which is not so then settled. We have even more than 10 active uploaders, but this was the other active ones. And I think what you can see here is that since 2011 it became some, somehow more. And watch the, this 2011 year, also in other years, it is, um, this is graphing the discussion of the Debian Meet mailing list, um, which is also a user mailing list, so there are users who are asking for software. And here also you see in 2011, something happened also here, right? And this is a Debian made developer mailing list. It's not so, uh, so clear this year 2011, but here you see also something. These are the people who are hunting bugs. You see also 10 people who are quite active. There are some people who, who left the project for instance, Charles Plessy, who was in the beginning very active, the yellow one is, became less active. It, it depends from, from his work and what, uh, what time he can spend on Debian Made. And this is uh, what people are committing to the Debian Made Git, now on Salsa. You see also there are at least 10 people who are doing quite regular contributions. And well, now I, before I come to this graph, I want to explain this 2011, uh, or since 2011, the, the Waymo activity. This is the time since we are doing uh, yearly sprints. Since these people, not actually this 10 people, but we are 
10 to 15 people who are meeting face to face in mostly in the beginning of the year in January or February and this I'm showing this because um, it's quite important that you meet in person like here on the Debian conference in a very small auditorium but it's important that people meet and work together and sit in one room together don't care for any real life stuff just sit behind their computers get some code talk together and that's very healthy for the project. The next graph uh, shows um, how many packages get attention by how many people. So I would like to get this uh, graph rather like this, says uh, a package is never maintained by only one person but rather by two or three persons and get a, sh a graph shaped like this because if only one person is committing to a package, this is actually not team maintained, it is um, one person who belongs to a team but it's working alone on the package. Um, I need to admit that this graph um, only shows contribution with more than five commits. So maybe there is a, a single commit from a person and it is not calculated because it's too much noise otherwise. So five commits is uh, the limit when I said yes, this is a real contribution. And then this graph uh, looks like this. We are doing better than, than other teams which have a quite steeper slope, but there are teams um, in Debian which really have only, only very few packages which are maintained by only one person. Um, Actually, if I'm honest about the package maintained by two persons, it's also it's mostly because people, other people started the packaging, and then I continued because they managed it. So, so this is the graph which shows the so-called tasks in Debian made. We have different tasks, which is um, the blue one. The, uh, the number of packages for the biology tasks. That's, that means if you are a biologist, you have a lot of packages. I'm sorry for the, the scale, it's about here 600. I don't know, it's not, it's not shown here on the screen. Um, so 600 packages for biologists, uh, or if you want to develop biology application, you have also 100 packages, this kind of um, biopython and so. Uh, by the way, I know your background. What's your background? Are you biologists or? Uh, medical stuff, so what? can you say me what's... Biologist. You are a biologist, yeah. okay. So then maybe we to uh, talk a little bit later. So in principle, Debian made is something for you, which you can use. Um, I also have prepared slide for about 10, 15 minutes and then we can talk and you can me talk, uh, tell your wishes and your expectations, right? Just for a short introduction here, we have um, some packages for epidemiology, it's more or less statistics, some R packages. We have a few packages which are, can be used in hospitals, or hospital information systems. We have something for medical imaging, but you see the main focus of Debian made, if you just calculate the number of packages, is in biology. And also here you see, well we have some increase here, but 2011 um, is reflected from here. After we meet, the, the curve also is quite steep. So meeting of people has a good effect and the, the counter indication is the, the meetings are basically done by biologists and in the other fields you don't see this 2011 king. So it, it's really important that we meet. Well, something which I really liked is some very good advice by John Maddock Hall. Um, I was in Heidelberg in 2015 15 at the Debian conference and um, I told uh, um, Maddock that um, after 15 years working on the Debian Made project or on the topic of Debian Made, um, people in my institute, which is actually a medical institute, uh, which was my motivation to do all this, they started using it. And he said, what, only 15 years? You young guys should be more patient. 
I should hurry up since after 15 years I might be dead, but you have so much time. And this was some advice. I think it's, it's kind of a wisdom, right? Um, well, 15 years seems to be much. And you are even younger than me, but it, in principle, every good thing takes time. And um, it's better than if it's used after 15 years than if it's not used at all or so. So, yeah, uh, something from my background. I'm a physicist by profession. I have no idea about biology, no idea about physics, uh, no idea, uh, idea about uh, med uh, medicine. Um, I just, I'm just able to do packaging. I have a technical background. I, I can do code in some programming languages, but I need the input of the biologists if they, if they say, this program makes sense, this um, is helpful for me, and yeah. So um, I'm not using the software, I'm just building the packages. So this is um, another int interesting uh, thing I'm very proud about because since 2012 um, I'm running a so-called project Mentoring of the Months. It means um, for one month, um, some student who wants to learn packaging um, can ask any question. Well, there are no really stupid questions, but questions the student might consider possibly stupid, stupid uh, can be asked and I will answer and help to learn packaging. It's, uh, I require this question all in public on the mailing list because other people will probably learn from it. May have the same questions, can learn from it. So I, this is a, the number of people who finally made this mentoring of the month. You see, it's not every month, three or four per year. And I also recorded if the package was finally uploaded, which was not really the case for all of them. They stopped at some point in time. And not all of the mentees really remained in Debian Meet, so which I would love to have a better rate here, but anyway, we have some people who keep on working on this, who um, keep on contributing, and finally, if we don't actively approach newcomers, then we get nobody. But we, we got some people due to this effort, and I'm quite proud of it, and they'll try to continue this. So, not only because of this effort, but also because we, we try to reach out to people, we did the sprints. Debian Mid uh, project attracted one Debian developer per year. So, if you, well, what, what's Debian Mid inside the whole Debian project? If you would assume Debian Mid wouldn't <laughs> exist, Debian would be most probably the same. Because Debian is a very universal system, it doesn't matter if it has some medical applications or not, or biology applications or not. Maybe the biologists are a little bit happy. But because the project exists, we attracted some people of this field. And um, I'm, well, kind of preaching every year that more people try to follow the, the idea we are the. Well, the astronomers are now doing a good job, and the geographers also doing a good, a good job to, to follow the, the, a similar route and attract more people. So if you imagine that we, in this very unimportant project inside Debian, uh, gathered more than 1% of the Debian developers, this is quite a lot. Since 19 of these developers confirmed that they are only uh, Debian developers because the Debian Mid project exists. And we have about, well, I, don't, I need to check the statistics, how many Debian developers we have. So um, this is quite some, some good statistics for this kind of outsider project. project. 
and even 10 of the 19 above extended their activity. So they work now in different fields of Debian. They came over Debian Mid and now are doing something else. And 14 of them keep on to being active inside Debian Mid. The conclusions of this uh, mentoring effort is that um, the time I spend to mentor people is really wor worth the effort. And um, since I have shown it's not every month that's, that I have a student, the, the workload is, is bearable for me. And um, the good thing is the students are reading uh, current documents. And uh, since I have read the documents about 20 years ago or so, when I became a developer, I can even learn from the students because they, they ask me questions. And this document is, I can find this and, ah, say, that's interesting, I've learned something. And um, the major advantage is that we are uh, usually teaching upstream developers of some uh, biology code or so, and they know the software they have written, and we know wh how to package, and so we pool the knowledge, and um, at least 50% of the students have strong connection to upstream, either themselves upstream or uh, sitting in the next office or so. So then we also are doing some software liberation, which means um, a lot of upstream have no idea about uh, how to find a proper li license and so. And we have some wiki page where we just put a record. If we approach some authors, please use a free license for your stuff. And we, we have um, one part of this table has the success where we convince authors. One, one uh, table um, is uh, showing the, the current process, which links to the um, mails we have, and so this, uh, this this talk is online, so you don't need to write down this uh, this link. You can then click on this; it's you can find it. I show the link later. Yeah. So far, um, what I'm also like to say is I'm very proud that we are a real team, and I found this team de uh, definition by. Uh, by my work in, in the Debian Me team, since um, for me it's a team, if I wake up in the morning and realize that somebody else has solved the problem I was not able to save, solve yesterday, and I really experienced this. It was, um, I was sitting in the Saturday night, uh, midnight, uh, on a problem I was not able to solve. I wrote an email to the list, and when I opened my laptop in the next morning, somebody said, oh, I solved your problem. That's, that's really cool. This is this is experience I wish that everybody could have. I really like to share this. So, if we want to make some notes for today, um, somebody could fire up this. If you install Gobi and go to this address, then we can do some notes. If you have some notes, maybe we, we are really a few. I, I expected an outreach student of, of mine here, but she has probably not yet arrived. I don't know what's wrong because um, she is from a biologist from Russia and is not here. So, if not, I can put it later on on the screen again. Yeah, this is this is in principle in principle all of my slides. Here you can find all my talks, including this one with the PDF. And yeah, now I can open this for discussion. Maybe we put one mic to you and you ask questions. And I try to answer. We are not many. We don't need to stretch the time into uh, eternity, but yeah, please uh, take the mic. Maybe you introduce yourself as a biologist or everybody intro introduces himself and then we talk a bit. Okay, do we have another mic? Oh, it's here. Yeah. I got it. Well, you say your name and your profession. It is okay. You have a name, probably. Yes, please say your name in the mic and what's, what's your expectation, why you are sitting here and... Um, uh, hi, I'm Sia. Mm -hmm. 
So I'm study biology, so I want to know the computer and the biology. Mm -hmm. What can compare? Okay. So I'm in here. Yeah. And do we, uh, have you heard about Debian Meet before, or uh, are you just on the conference and say, oh, there is something that might be interesting for me? Or so? I don't know, maybe. <laughs> Could you please uh, speak in the mic? Okay. So I just know this time in Taiwan, so I'm come here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Maybe you can also introduce you for the mic, and then you as well, and then we we chat a little bit. Uh, hi, I'm Jamini. Uh, I'm a so I know ideas, so it's good to know more about it. Yeah, okay. And you, maybe as well, because others might might watch the stream, so... Uh, yes, uh, actually, uh, I'm here because I want to learn about how to write a book. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, and. And my major is artificial intelligence, so I don't know much about uh, uh, much about uh, medical things. Mm. Yeah, as I said, I personally also don't know so much about uh, about uh, medical things. But I could imagine that um, um, your field of work could also have some influence in into biology. Um, maybe. Uh, you can also um, use artificial intelligence to do some gene sequencing also. Do you know some applications which are doing this? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. In, in the recent several years, um, actually in the medical field, there, there are many more, uh, many more deep learning applications in this field, such as, uh, such as uh, medical, uh, image segmentation, and which, which means to find the uh, the to find to find something strange in a medi in a medical picture, such as cancer, mm -hmm. the location of the cancer, and uh, but I'm not familiar with that image that that field. So maybe I'll talk about it in in the book that I'm preparing. Yeah, yeah, that would be interesting. Yeah. Do we have some responses from IRC? Uh, let's see. Uh, no response. No response. Yeah. So, um, I don't know what, or if you want to um, stretch this even more, if you, have the, you, you can always approach me, we can, can do it directly, I'm here, I'm Hopefully not scaring you away because um, maybe some a little bit famous also. I just learned in the talk before that I have the, uh, I'm the most active uploader. I have two thousand or so packages uploaded before this. This was also new to me now, but um, it's a lot of stuff because we have in Debian made about one thousand packages or more, and probably I have touched all of them at some point in time. Actually. Now, because of the move from, from Alio to Salsa, everything is to touch, and I do it more or less automatically. So it's not so, it should not be so impressive because it's not so much work once a, once a package exists to update this, and so it's kind of a routine. And so, did, but you did you work at all under Linux before, or just um, for example, you can. Just test, 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 okay, that is okay. Uh, just please try talking closer to the microphone, okay? Uh, so, um, if you want to answer? Uh, who, who wants to talk? Anybody? Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Uh, somebody. Uh. Maybe we, we finish the streaming? And, oh, you have a question? Yeah, what made you to work on the medicine package, speci specifically because you are a physicist, right? Uh, can you please repeat? Uh, repeat? 
Uh, what made you to work on the uh, medicine package? Like you're a physicist, right? So. Well, the the thing is that um, while I'm a physicist, I'm working on a medical institute. It's in uh, the German Robert Koch Institute, which has. This is doing research and uh, f um, for the German Ministry of Health about different diseases, and we are doing, yeah, we are um, also this, this gene sequencing stuff is quite common to to um, find out some some issues in, in, in diseases, and so it's quite natural to. Uh, do all this biology stuff and they hire IT persons and if you have studied physics then you are kind of per definition IT person. Um, half of my uh, this, of the students of my uh, group uh, are working in IT and so I'm just not a physicist anymore actually but um, IT scientists and well it, it was my motivation to say if uh, my institute might decide to use Linux, then this should be Debian, and Debian should be really fit for the job which we need. And this is actually the case because um, most of the stuff which is used in my institute was packaged before they started using it, and what was not yet packaged, I just did it too. Not completely, because something is more complex, but it's um, getting better and better. So I'm packaging at request. If a scientist approaches me, I need this or that software, then I'm just doing it. If I manage with the help of several people, because it, in fact, I need help of um, several people inside Debian. Um, I um, for instance, have frequent trouble when packaging with Java software, and I'm asking the Debian Java team, and it's um, there is also what what might be interesting for you in uh, a mailing list Debian mentors. Debian mentors explains or helps how you can solve packaging problems, and I'm a frequent poster on this list, not because I'm answering questions, well, sometimes I'm answering, but I have questions to my fellow Debian developers. So even if I'm 20 years a Debian developer and have uh, done a lot of packaging, it's also done by the help of random people who are helping. So this is also an interesting message, I think, for you who are newcomers and to get help if you know how to find the right channels. This is also some recommendation I um, usually give in this um, mentoring of the month. Th uh, ask your question on Debian mentors. I can't answer it, it myself. This is usual and this is, it's kind of an experience to learn how good this works. You write an email and after a few hours you get an answer with a solution. This is really amazing. Also for me, every time if I get, we have now the switch from GCC, GCC 7 to GCC 8 and some package does not compile and I um, don't understand C++. Unzi C is okay, but C++. And if you have an error, I just ask there if I cannot find the solution by a simple Google and that gets the an answer in a couple of hours and then can I upload the package. And uh, the fame then goes to me because I have so many packages, but the fame should also go to the people who helped realizing this upload. Okay. Yes. Maybe we, we finish here. If there are no questions. You have a question? Come, take this mic. Uh, I'm Yao, actually, my uh, cameraman behind the. Mm behind the camera. Yeah. So, uh, um, I'm actually interested if, uh, if, you, if you have, if, if your packaging efforts try, is, try, is mostly into the, into the some, compiler, some, some compiling problems that is unrelated to medical. Yes, in, 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 I usually take the, the ideas what to package from uh, people working in medicine and, and biology. Yeah, this is in the, in the next buff. 
uh, we have about Debian Science. I'm also working Debian Science, but not so active. Debian Science is more general. By, for sure, biology is also a science, and we have common problems. And we, in Debian Science, we try to uh, find common problems, and there are. And I'm also helping there because I can sponsor a package, or some uh, some packages are direct dependencies, and I upload also this. And um, science is a wider umbrella, and there uh, are packages which are in in any kind connected to science. So it's the same problem in, in a wider sense. Yeah, that takes a mic. Okay. Yeah. I want to know how Debian can use in hospital. In, in what? Can you please go speak to the mic? To, to talk to the mic. Wait, wait. Yeah. Okay. I want to know what Debian can use in hospital. In what? In hospital. Hospital. Ah, in hospital. Yes. Well, okay. This is a good question. Uh, our plan was that we want to make Debian fit for hospitals. Um, I'll show you. Wait a moment. have here the tasks um, which are part of Debian I can also show this. And here is our hospital information systems. And this is uh, um, one, one kind of a database which is used by the, by the Vista system. Vista has nothing to do with Windows Vista. It is um, some um, system to run um, a hospital with all the information that is needed. And we have at least this database system. It was actually the first package which was uh, done and only was possible because I was running this mentoring of the month, while because it's a little bit complex to package this, not only a little bit, it is complex to package. And uh, so I was uh, had contact to upstream and upstream packages. So. This database is definitely used in hospitals. What you see here is uh, popcorn zero means nobody is actually using this package, but I assume if I am uh, um, install a Debian system in a hospital, I will not allow that the, the computer is phoning home to Debian, so we don't get the information if it's really used. So I expect that it's used, but I have no, no channel back that somebody says, yeah, we are using it. So I assume it's used. It's probably not used in many hospitals. Uh, the plan was that we also packaging um, Vista itself. This, this is a system. And um, we have the Debian package not yet available, but we did some preparation. It, it's incredible complex to do and yeah I have the strategy to harvest at first the low hanging fruits and I need somebody who really really tests this I can throw a package well, uh, um, package ready uh, test it in the hospital no this doesn't work so we need some cooperation partner and I my idea about Debian Made is that we really cooperate with the people that are using it. And as long as these people are not approaching us, can we work together to finally get this done? This will not happen. Hospital is, is very complex. What we have is um, um, we have medical practice systems. Oops. Um, there are, this is just a small helper. This free diams is used basically in France. Um, it's, you can run a doctor's practice. Here you see, uh, see seven, at least seven active installations are using this. This number is a number uh, of uh, installations which are really used. Not only installed on the computer and then this computer is not used, but this is, the files are really touched. So this free diams is mostly used in France. This uh, Ginkgo Cat X is something where you can display medical images. Um, 
and we have GNUMATE. GNUMATE is also, I, I know this GNUMATE developer. You see we have a server which is actively used by 12 uh, installations and also maybe the client has no connection to the internet and, and, all of the, uh, and it's not reporting so many. So these numbers are only estimations. People, some people say you can double the number, some people say you can take 10 times the number of pop, uh, popcorn measures. So we know our packages are used by some users. What you see definitely we had in the above before, they had um, games packages which have they are the number 1000, so it's way more. Games are used by more people, right? We have a very specific field, but we have users and we have active users. And if you look into biology, because we are biologists, so we can, we can fill the time a little bit with this information. We have um, 500 packages in this field. So you can look here, maybe for instance, you, this one, this, I don't, don't know how deep you are in this, but all these, um, this information here is from the package description. It is usually translated. Um, I have the German look here. Here you see this is translated. This is German. You will not understand it. This is to be to be translated. And then if you are a biologist, you could say, "Oh, I can translate." And yet you click the translate button, and then you can do this for Chinese. We can we do the test now because we are here. We use Chinese. What's Chinese? Is this, uh, is this this one? Please help me. No. No. Uh, no. Right, right, right. right? This one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, this yeah. one. So we check if we have Chinese translations. We, we are looking here. Oh. Not yet. It looks all very English. No unusual characters for me. Oh, it looks not so good. But I can explain more what we have. We have, um, for instance, you see citations. This is also a Debian Mail team has started because um, the idea is if we package the code of some authors, the authors get some additional, some additional Google hits if they are mentioned on our page. So they need, ah, it's, it's interesting for them if we package and that they help us to package. So it's, I have, uh, I'm very keen on that we have every package has uh, citations and we have also quite new, these tools, there are some registries for biotech tools and we have also the registry entry so you can click on it. So this, this should be a network of, of all the applications that Debian is kind of entry point for free software in, medi in medicine biology. We have also some screenshots, but not so much here. Where, where we have screenshots? We had this, um, this medical imaging. There are naturally more snapshots, or more screenshots. Did I say snapshots? I mean screenshots, you know. Here's something. This is uh, well, not so amazing. It's just a text interface. So if you have some if you are using some applications, please make a screenshot and submit it. Yeah. Here you can upload the screenshot and then it goes into the Debian infrastructure. It's not just for this page, but it goes into the Debian infrastructure and is available for all packages. Yeah. So here you have, you have a list. You can also see here, I, I have the information that there is some new upstream version um, available. That means for the developer, there is something to do. I need to do the packaging. I could even, I have five minutes left. I can even show what's, what work is done for the packaging. Yeah, maybe I do this. Then we have five minutes left, is correct?
I know that the package FlexBar has a new upstream version. And what I'm doing then is I have made a script. It just uh, calls or I update the Git repository, GBP pull to see if somebody, some other Debian developer has pe uh, perhaps committed something, knows up to date, and then I have a script which is called row routing update. And then I wait. This is doing some stuff, downloading the new version, adapting stuff, and if I'm lucky and the new version has no big changes, I can upload. So doing a new package is not necessarily a lot of work. So it's now um, creating a change root environment where the package will be built. And if I need, I do not need to refresh some patches, then the end of this talk is ready and I can upload. It's not so much work. So this amazing number of 2,000 packages I uploaded is uh, sometimes just waiting. Not all the time. I can ensure it. But in, uh, it's frequently just like this. Yeah. Do we have more questions while this is? Running. Yeah. Now it's compiling here. What else can I do? You are from Taiwan? Yes, I'm Taipei. Taipei? Oh. Uh, yes. Uh, you, you are new. Are you also interested in this topic, or are you for the next for this Debian science? Debian? No, it's the uh, yes. gentleman after you. So you are interested in Debian Meat or Debian Science? Uh, I, I just want to know medicine? Medicine? Uh, it is possible that you introduce yourself with the mic. Should I give you the mic, please? Pass it. It is switched off. Pay, pay. Maybe it's switched off. See, is it, do you see the green light? So you need to see the package is new. The, it's uh, Lintian tells me um, this package has not yet an auto baker git test, which is not good because we try to apply tests to every package. And it also says um, that I should possibly. I usually fix this. This is a packaging detail, but um, since the time is running out, no, I I do it later. I I can just. Uh, tell you what this script did. Git log made. Um, here, this was the uh, original I checked out. I got the new upstream version downloaded, which is recorded here. I've set the latest standard version, and this was the only needed change. And then it's an upload to unstable, and the tag is set, and so I could uh, now push my changes and upload the package. This was all. So I have not really done a lot of stuff, right, to get the new version packaged. Any questions for this? No? Then we just finish here. Okay, thank you for the attendance. <laughs>